Alhaji Latif Kayode Jakonde. Born the 23rd of July 1929, the Fletcher area of Lagos Island, Lagos State. He had his primary education at the Lagos Public School in Owa, Lagos Island. Proceeded to Bonham Memorial Methodist School, Port Harcourt, between 1934 and 1943. He studied briefly at King's College, Lagos in 1943 and then enrolled at Elisha Grammar School in 1945. There, he edited a literary paper called The Quarterly Mirror. In 1949, Alaji Jaconde began a career in journalism, first with the Daily Service and then in 1953 joined the Nigerian Tribune. He was appointed editor-in-chief of the Tribune by the owner, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, in 1956. His editorials were truthful and frank, a quality highly respected by the colonial powers. Even after leaving the Tribune in 1975, Jack Onde established John West Publications and began to publish the Lagos News. He served as the first president of the Newspaper Proprietors Association of Nigeria, NPAN. In politics, he ran for election as executive governor of Lagos State in 1979 on the platform of Unity Party of Nigeria and won. As a governor, he was loved for his efficient and effective administration and openly implemented the cardinal policies of his party. Following the footsteps of Awolowo, he introduced housing and educational programs targeting the poor. He built neighborhood primary and secondary schools and provided free primary and secondary education. He established the Lagos State University. He moved on and his government constructed over 30,000 housing units. Some of the housing units include the low-cost housing estate in Amu Wadofi, Ijaye, Dolphin Estate, Ukiafa, Ije, Abeson, Ikunri, Ikbaja, Abulela, Ekbe, Anikontamo, Surlere, Iba, Ikurudu, and Badagri. Despite the shortage of funds, Al Haji Latif Kayode Jakonde completed and delivered on these infrastructural promises. By simply increasing the tenement rates and the pieces of price of land in affluent areas of Lagos, like the Victoria Island and Lekki Peninsula, and the processing fees for lottery and pools and gaming licenses, these monies he guarded to implement his policies. For the health sector, he completed the construction of the General Hospital in Bagada and Ikorudu and built about 20 healthcare centers within the states. His tenure came to an abrupt end when the military ceased power on the 31st of December, 1983. After the military takeover, Atlaje Latif Jakonde was charged, prosecuted and convicted of treason. Although he was later pardoned and appointed Minister of Works under the Sunni Abacha military regime, a position he later accepted and had to suffer massive criticism for. However, in his heart, all was about service, and indeed he served in this position from November 1993 to August 1998. From his inaugural address to Lagosians on the 1st of October 1979, one can truly deduce how much of a heart of service he had. He was elected with a landslide victory, which he acknowledged even with his speech. He won the vote 559,070 to 126,805. He was sworn in as the executive governor of Lagos State. And I quote him saying, today, as a result of that election, the chief judge of the state in accordance with the provisions of the constitution of Nigeria has invested in me with the office. This is an inestimable honor of which I am very conscious. It is a call to service.
that I take very seriously in all immunity. And I want to assure you that I shall spare no effort to justify the confidence which you, the good people of Lagos, have demonstrably reposed. al Haji Latif Jakonde surely lived up to these promises. Known for his appearance always in Buba and Shoro, with a popular Awo cap and a customary Irukere, driving his old Toyota car, late al Haji Latif Kayode Jakonde was an erudite journalist, a well-bred politician, a tutor and a teacher for excellence, an exemplary leader in all spheres of life, a father and a loving husband. His legacy will live on and his name will remain forever woven in the fabrics of our history as a country. Long live al Haji Latif Kayode Jakonde in our hearts on the pages of our books, on the ink of our pen, and the screens of our hearts. Long live Babakikiri. Long live a man like no other.